gonna make us a black-eyed pea dip, and this is very simple. I'm gonna take two cans of black-eyed peas, and this is one of those great dishes where, yes, it's legal to use a canned pea. All right, that's one can, and like I said, I just wanna drain it, and then I'm gonna pour it all into my bowl and my second can. There we go. Just give that a swish. And then I'm gonna use one 15 ounce can of whole kernel corn, and we're also gonna drain that. And then I'm gonna use one 10 ounce can of a spicy tomato. And these come in different heat forms. You can go to real hot to a mild, and they're delicious for hot dips, Mexican dishes. We rely on those a lot for that. The last thing that's gonna go in is a jar of pimentas. And I'm using a four ounce jar. I'm just gonna drain those and throw those in. They're gonna be pretty red color for us. So I'm gonna put this in the sink and then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna make the dressing for our black eyed pea salad. And look at the colors of that. The pretty black eyes on the peas and whole kernels of corn. Looks so good. I need a couple of tablespoons of chopped jalapeno peppers, and we're gonna okay. use a fresh. Okay. I need some red bell pepper and some green, and the rest of that onion chopped up. I'm gonna start making our dressing for our black-eyed pea salad. I'm gonna start with a half a cup of red wine vinegar. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, and then I'm gonna add fourth of a teaspoon of sugar. Now I'm gonna add a half a cup of olive oil. So how are you coming on those vegetables? I've got the jalapeno chopped up here. Now I'm gonna add a half a cup of vegetable oil. So we're using a full cup of oils for our dressing. Well, you're a little busy, so I'm gonna walk behind you to oh, the bowl. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me pass it to you. Now we're using two different kind of okay. oils because you're gonna get a different flavor with the right. olive oil. Now I'm gonna, <laughs> hopefully this jar is seal proof, but you know what, just to make sure I don't sling oil all over me, I think I'm gonna take a rag. That sounds like a good idea. Uh -huh, that yeah. sounds like a good plan, doesn't it, Damon? Just to make sure. And I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake it. I'm shaking my booty down here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that pretty? So we're just gonna pour this over our black-eyed peas. And y'all, as this sits in the refrigerator, It'll just get better and better. You ready for some onion now? I'm so ready for okay. it. Okay, you tell me when. And you can't put too many onions yeah. for me. All right, so this is looking good, Damon. Okay. You're gonna get the bell pepper in there. I'm getting the pepper there. cut up. And I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper. You know, you I'm mostly a home cook, Paula, so I'm a little slow. You probably have to fire me at the Lady and Sons. No, honey, listen, <laughs> I'm the same way. You know, I don't wanna necessarily be the fastest, I just want to be the most precise and I want to have 10 digits when I walk away. <laughs> That's my goal. <laughs> you know, one of the things I love about things like this, Paula, is that it really is an example of all the fresh produce we have in the South and how we can have salads a lot longer in the season than you can in other parts of the country. I'm right with you. This looks wonderful. But let's taste. Oh, I have to Dig taste in. this. This looks so wonderful. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that yummy? Perfect for football game food, isn't it? Mm -hmm.